Solutions to Wikiometry going to be the topic in this lesson, and we're going to pick up right where we left off back in chapter three, a whole chapter on stoichiometry, but we're going to be able to apply it to solutions, hence the name. Uh, we learned in the last lesson that molarity can be expressed uh, in a way, such a way as a new way to solve for moles, and that's what we're going to be able to use to relate to multiple ratios from like a balanced chemical reaction and apply what we learned with stoichiometry to it. My name is Chad, and welcome to Chad's Prep, where my goal is to take the stress out of learning science. Now, this lesson's part of my new general chemistry playlist, and I'm releasing several lessons a week throughout the school year, so if you want to be notified every time I post one, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification. In addition to high school and college science prep, we also do MCAT, DAT, and OAT prep as well. You can find those courses at chadsprep.com. All right, so let's dive into this, and we're just going to do a couple of examples here. You're familiar, hopefully, now with stoichiometry from our lessons in Chapter 3, and we're just going to apply them to solutions. Again, this is going to be pivotal right here. We have a new way of calculating moles. So I just want to remind you real quick, so if I've got 10 moles of HCl, how many moles of NaOH would I need for it to react completely? Well, again, a balanced chemical reaction gives us a whole host of mole-to-mole -mole ratios. And in this one, we can see that for HCl and NaOH, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if I've got 10 moles of HCl, well, then I'm going to need 10 moles of NaOH for it to react with a one-to-one -one ratio. And again, these mole-to-mole -mole ratios are the, uh, the key here. And the key is then to relate and use these mole-to-mole -mole ratios, you have to know the number of moles of something. Now, in this question, we're trying to find the volume of 2.0 molar HCl needed to neutralize 20.0 grams of NaOH completely. Now, if I get and said, you know, how many you know, moles of HCl are required to neutralize completely 20 moles of NaOH. You'd say 20 moles because it's a one-to-one -one ratio and I could do that in our heads and life would be good. So, but again, we're gonna make this a little harder because I didn't give you the number of moles of either one. I gave you the grams of the NaOH and the molarity of this HCl as part of a solution. So uh, one of the relationships we gotta do here. So we're gonna start with that 20 grams. And again, the key is if it was moles, we'd have a lot easier time doing this. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is convert it to moles. So we'll take that 20.0 grams of NaOH, and the connection between grams and moles is always the molar mass right off the periodic table, and sodium is 23 grams per mole, oxygen 16, hydrogen is 1, and that adds up to a total of 40, and so in this case we'll put grams of NaOH in the denominator, so they'll cancel, moles in the numerator, and again your molar mass is always the mass of one mole, in this case 40 grams. All right, and so from here, we can see that 20 divided by 40 is half a mole, 0.5 moles. But we can take this a step further because now that we know the moles of NaOH, we can use our mole to mole ratio to convert that into moles of HCl. Put moles of NaOH in the denominator, moles of HCl in the numerator. And again, this mole to mole ratio is going to come from the coefficients in the balanced chemical reaction, which in this case is just one to one. And now we're going to have the moles of HCl. And again, we need to turn that into a volume. And again, we could finish out the dimensional analysis here. And I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. So, but instead, my preference is when you're trying to find uh, molarity or volume or anything like that, to use one of these expressions and just treat it as an algebraic expression. And so if we're trying to solve for volume, then we're going to use this last one. And it's just moles divided by molarity. The molarity was given, and we just solved for the number of moles of HCl. And again, 20 divided by 40 was 0.5 times 1 over 1 is still 0.5. And so in solving for this volume, it's moles, again, 0 0.5 moles of HCl all over the 2.0 molar, which is going to get us, again, 0 0.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.25 liters. And if they wanted that in milliliters, we could convert that to 250 milliliters by multiplying by 1,000. Cool. Now, the other thing you could do is you could try and make this all one big dimensional analysis problem by remembering that two molar is the same thing as two moles per liter or two moles over one liter kind of a thing. So if we took that from here, we could take moles of HCl per liter, if you will, and it's two moles per liter. And now we'd solve for this in liters here as well. And it'd be 20 over 40 is 0.5 divided by another two would get us our 0.25 as well. And so you can do this dimensional analysis all the way across, but again, students often struggle with that last step. If you don't, fantastic, use the dimensional analysis. But if you do, again, once you get the moles, again, then you can use the appropriate expression here to relate it to the molarity and the volume. And in this case, we wanted to solve for volume and it was just moles divided by molarity. 
All right, this next question says, uh, what volume of 0.1 molar H2SO4 is required to neutralize 0.50 liters of 0.4 molar NaOH? And the reaction was provided. So however, the reaction didn't have to be provided because this is one of the types of reactions we learned in the earlier lesson in this chapter, acid-based neutralizations. And we could have figured out, just knowing that H2SO4 and NaOH reacting, we could have figured out it's a one to two ratio and that this was the rest of the balanced reaction. But again, in this case, it was provided. I just want to make sure you realize that it didn't have to be because this is one of the kind of reactions you now know how to predict products on and balance and stuff. So, all right, but we want to solve for the volume in liters here. And a couple of things you should notice. So again, mole to mole ratios, we see that it's a one mole of H2SO4 for every two moles of NaOH. And so if I said, hey, I need to neutralize 10 moles of NaOH, how many moles of H2SO4 are required? Well, based on that one to two ratio, 10 moles of NaOH would only require five moles of H2SO4. And so if you were given the number of moles of NaOH, then you could figure out the number of moles of H2SO4 based on that mole to mole ratio. Well, you've been given both the molarity and the liters. And again, if you're given the molarity and the liters, so then one of our expressions here, when we rearrange the definition of molarity, solves for the number of moles. And it's the most important one because we now have a new way of calculating moles. And once you know the moles, you can take advantage of mole to mole ratios like we're gonna do here. And so you just wanna realize that you effectively were given the number of moles, or at least the ability to calculate the number of moles of NaOH. And because we have a mole to mole ratio with the balanced reaction, we can turn that into moles of anything else in the reaction. But in this case, we want the moles of H2SO4. And so we're given the molarity of the H2SO4. We know we have enough to calculate the moles now. And if you have both the moles and the molarity, you can solve for the volume, which is what we're being asked. So that's kind of the approach we're going to take here. And so first thing I'm going to do is solve for that number of moles of NaOH. And that's just going to again simply be molarity times liters equals moles. So 0 0.40, and I'm gonna write it out as moles NaOH per liter. And we'll multiply that by, I guess I don't really have to write it as a fraction here. We'll multiply that by 0 0.50 liters, and we'll get the liters to cancel. And that gets us notice moles of NaOH left, but then we can use a mole to mole ratio. We'll put moles of NaOH in the denominator so they cancel moles of H2SO4 in the numerator. And again, that mole to mole ratio just comes from the coefficients in the balanced reaction. And two moles of NaOH, one mole of H2SO4, and now our moles of NaOH are gonna cancel, and we'll have an answer in moles of H2SO4. And so once we work this out and get the moles of H2SO4, again, we already know the molarity, and once we know both the moles and the molarity, we can solve for the volume. And we'll take that approach in a minute, but you could also go ahead and just finish off the dimensional analysis to kind of figure it out as well. So, and again, remember that this 0.1 molar means moles per liter, and if you could work out the dimensional analysis, you would need moles of H2SO4 in the denominator, liters on top. And again, 0.1 molar means 0.1 moles per one liter. And we could take it that far. And that's gonna get us our answer in liters. And so in this case, 0.4 times 0.5 is 0.2. 0.2 divided by two is 0.1. And 0.1 over 0.1 is simply equal to one. And so we're gonna need one liter of our H2SO4 solution. And once again, we could have stopped this right here and not continued on with the dimensional analysis and just figured out that from this point on, it would have given us the moles of H2SO4 and 0.4 to, times 0.5 is 0.2, 0.2 divided by two is 0.1. And so we could have figured out that the moles of H2SO4 is 0 0.1. And then the volume in liters is equal to moles over molarity, our equation on the upper right there in this case would have been 0.1 moles over 0.1 molar, which again is moles per liter, which would have got us one liter that way as well. Cool, so either one of these works and a couple different ways to look at this. So if you notice, our NaOH is four times more concentrated. So you'd think, oh, well, in that case, then we're gonna need four times more H2SO4. Well, that would be if they were reacting in a one-to-one -one ratio. But because they react in a one-to-two ratio, you generally only need half as much H2SO4. 
So based on the stoichiometry, the mole to mole ratio here, I only need half as much H2SO4, but based on the molarities, I need four times more H2SO4 since it's four times less concentrated. So in one metric, four times more, in the other metric, half as much, and overall that ends up equaling ultimately double the amount, which is why from 0.5 liters of NaOH, we needed double that one liter of H2SO4. So truth be told, that's how I figured this out, but probably not how you're doing it yet at this stage. Just wanted to show you that there's other ways to do this. Now, if you think other students would find this helpful, a like and a share goes a long way to making sure YouTube shows it to them. And if you're looking for the study guide, if you're looking for over 1,200 general chemistry practice questions, if you're looking for practice final exams or final exam rapid reviews, check out my general chemistry master course. I'll leave a link in the description. A free trial is available. Happy studying.